It may seem like more and more bikers are taking to Austin streets, but while it's healthier and sometimes a quicker option, it can be dangerous. A recent study by a group of lawyers out of Chicago showed that Guadalupe Street from West Cesar Chavez to North Lamar was the most dangerous stretch of road in Austin for riders. So joining me now with more information on what kind of injuries can come from bike accidents, Dr. Carl Larason. He's with St. David's Round Rock Medical Center. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Uh, yeah, so this stretch of road, uh, Guadalupe Street from West Ch Cesar Chavez to North Lamar, the most dangerous. What kind of injuries do you see when folks, I don't know, what, the, what, what, what are they, what happens to them? Well, sadly, there's a, a number of injuries that occur, spinal cord injuries, orthopedic injuries, and uh, the worst and most devastating are the brain injuries, traumatic brain injuries that occur from patients that are struck by cars or are not paying attention. And so they, that's how these injuries occur. How do you treat them? Well, if it's, um, we get them to the, to the ER as quickly as possible, and that's where our EMS services are fantastic and, and get the patients to us. And um, if patients have traumatic brain injuries, we get them scanned immediately with CAT scans. Um, we look at their spinal injuries, orthopedics, they get evaluated by the trauma service. And uh, we treat the injuries as soon as we can. Mm. Um, if someone has a fracture, we're going to get them to the operating room as quickly as we can, get them reduced, stabilized, and um, if possible, do this in a minimally invasive techniques, mm -hmm. which is uh, sort of the newer way of treating these types of injuries. The worst that I can think of, I mean, short of death, is the traumatic brain injury. I mean, you know, I, you know being a mom, all sure. I think about is, you know, your kid's head and having that protected. So um, what, what can a biker do to make sure that, you know, other than just wearing the helmet? You know, it's, it's interesting. We looked at the, the data from our, from our center, from Round Rock Medical Center, and we, we identified a few risk factors. And um, believe it or not, men tend to be injured a lot more than women do. There's certain times of the day that are higher risk. And, and of course, the, the regions where cyclists ride is, is obviously uh, one of the high risk areas, like Guadalupe Street. Mm -hmm. So doing things like being extremely visible uh, is critical. Um, wearing flashing lights, bright colors, um, your helmet is super important. Mm -hmm. Things like um, avoiding and, and understanding that you've going to, you know, motorists are going to be distracted by texting, which they shouldn't right. be doing. So really choosing your route is, is critical. And, and teaching children from the very beginning to wear helmets yeah. is, is really important. I'm going to go out and limit. Is, is the most dangerous time that, that dusk period? It is. It is. So, so finding a time where there's less traffic is going to be more suitable. And, and choosing different, riding in, in groups, for example, mm -hmm. is better than riding by yourself. Finding a road that's got a, a wide shoulder is, is obviously the safest thing. Getting as much distance between yourself and, and a motor vehicle is, is critical. Yeah. I, I mean, at some point, if you ride a bicycle, you are putting yourself at danger and risk every single time you get on that bike. So. Mm -hmm. People don't always realize that. Right. Unfortunately, we see the end results. Yeah. So it might be a hobby that you prefer, but there's some planning that a lot of planning takes, takes place at the front end of, of get it before you get on your bike. Yes, ma'am. All right. Dr. Larason, thank you for joining me. Pleasure. I'm thank glad you. you took the lead here. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> thank you.